Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to talk about computer security. Recent cases involving the loss of personal data stored on CDs, as well as the theft of laptops containing potentially sensitive information, have highlighted fundamental security concerns across both government and business. In this video, I'm therefore going to explain what we all need to be doing in order to keep our data and our computers safe. For 30 years, the personal computing revolution has been about making information more easily available. However, this also means that most computing developments have increased security risks. Threats range from errors when users delete the wrong file, through to hardware failure, theft, power surges, hackers and viruses, fire and flood, and terrorism. Good computer security therefore includes making backups, protecting hardware and media, encrypting sensitive data, effective password management, and using firewalls and antivirus software. A lot of people still don't think about how valuable their data is until they've lost it. Many small companies would not survive a fire that destroyed all of their data, and increasingly individuals could lose irreplaceable documents, photographs, music or video following just one disk crash or power surge. The main thing to remember is that there's no such thing as a secure storage device. All forms of media can be damaged and fail, and hence the golden rule has to be to keep at least two copies of any data on at least two different media. Personal and small business data backups are most usually kept on USB keys, CDs, DVDs or external hard disks. However, another good option is to keep an online backup using a web application such as Juice, BT Vault or Google Docs. Fairly obviously, if your computer is stolen, damaged or fails, you'll be prevented from using it. However, with good security planning, losses should be limited to the money and time required for replacement or repair. To make sure this is the case, it's vital to store backup media separately from your computer. It is indeed quite amazing how often backups are kept right next to a PC and hence exposed to identical risks of theft, fire, flood or other damage. For maximum security, at least one backup media should be stored off-site or in a safe if available. For private individuals, exchanging backup media with family or friends is an excellent way to ensure that precious data always enjoys the protection of being in two locations. Many people forget that having data fall into the wrong hands can be just as damaging as losing it in the first place. It may be a good idea to keep important files with you on a USB key or other storage device. However, this becomes poor practice if key files are not protected, as losing a USB key can be very easy indeed. Any sensitive data ought to be encrypted as an insurance against theft or loss. This can be done with software such as TrueCrypt. Available for free from TrueCrypt.org, this creates a password-protected encrypted volume on any kind of storage media. Effective password management is vital to ensure that only authorised users can access encrypted files or network and website accounts. Passwords should be at least six characters long, contain both letters and numbers, change regularly, known only to the user, not related to the user, and different for each application.
To maintain effective internet security, it's important to install antivirus software and to make sure that it's constantly updated. A firewall should also be installed and is indeed often included with antivirus software. A firewall acts as a security filter between a computer and the internet and prevents traffic from unauthorised and non-trusted sources. Effective computer security is all about maintaining the right balance between ease of use and threat prevention. No system will ever be entirely secure and no data hence entirely safe. However, that doesn't mean that computer security measures can simply be ignored. For more information on computer security, please see the security page of explainingcomputers.com. So that's it for another video and I hope to talk to you again very soon.